What I want to share with you today is ultimately my journey because I want you to know what's possible for you. I see so much struggle and suffering out there. Uh, you know, whether it's your finances, relationships, mostly I see come across people wanting change in their health, weight loss. They want a new job. They want a career in which they have passion and purpose. And I understand where you are because I've been there. And that's exactly what I want to share with you is my journey on how I went from literally my rock bottom, complete misery and self-hatred into where I am today, because I want you to know what's possible for you. I'm going to start with this. I love this quote from J.K. Rowling, and um, it states that rock bottom became the solid foundation in which I rebuilt my life. So I want to share with you my journey from contentment, going through life's motions, living life in autopilot, rinse, wash, repeat, total misery, where I was cheering on Friday and dreading Monday week in and week out to how I bridge the gap and to where I am today, where I've created a life of freedom, a life on my terms, which I know is what ultimately you are seeking. So I want to take you back to 2015 when my life, you know, my highlight reel, it looked so good on paper. Everybody would have thought I was so happy. And guess what? Behind the facade, behind the masks, I was completely miserable. So in 2015, I was engaged to be married. We had just bought our brand new build home. You know, I, I had climbed the corporate ladder. I was making good money. I had travels. And inside, I was miserable. I felt like I had lost myself. I was going through the motions. And I had everything that society said would make me happy. And I wasn't. So if you're in that space, if you're going through life's motions, you're not happy. And maybe you don't even know why. I want to first offer you, this is a great place to start. It's a totally free resource. It's called the Life Assessment. You can find this on my website, heatherhakes.com. Take the life assessment. It will give you instant results and clarity to see where you're struggling and, and suffering. So back in 2015, engaged to be married. I remember it so clearly. Remember, I'm going through life's motions, putting on a happy face. But inside, that's not how I was feeling. I literally felt like I lost myself. Like I was crumbling and trying to hold it all together. My fiance and I at the time, and I want you to know, he is not a bad guy. He just wasn't the guy for me. But I remember it clearly. I think it was like June. We were supposed to be married in August. We'd gotten some disagreement on Sunday. He had a fly out for work, travel to be in, in Houston that Monday. And I remember I, I watched from the bedroom window upstairs. I watched him drive away and I went back into the master bathroom and I looked myself in the mirror wearing my ring. And I was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And that moment I took the ring off. I drove an hour to my parents to tell them what was going on in my life, that I wasn't happy. They were completely supportive. And long story short, I called off the wedding. Within one week, my parents had me packed up, 30 years old. I moved into my parents' basement. I had a three-hour daily commute. And this is where I ultimately hit my rock bottom. I had everything that was supposed to make me happy. And at that point, I had felt fear of failure. No, I felt like a failure, not a fear. I felt like a failure complete self-hatred. I was ashamed. I felt so much guilt. My parents had dropped thousands of dollars on a wedding that wasn't going to happen. I'm 30 years old, living in my parents' basement. Like, it was bad. It was really bad. And to add on top of all of that, just to compile it just a little bit more, living in my parents' basement, this three-hour daily commute led to some self-sabotaging behaviors. I was drinking a lot. I wasn't eating well. I gained weight. I couldn't fit in my clothes. I'm muffin topping. I'm wearing baggy clothes because I hate myself so much. That was where I, I got to start over. So let's fast forward. 20, May of 2016, I finally, everything was settled. We had sold the house. I got to move into my own new house and I began to change. I got back into creating structure and routines and going to the gym and taking care of my mental health. I began seeking clarity and purpose in my life. And that summer, summer of 2016, I joined what was called the nine to five, how to quit your nine to five, the dream starter program. So that's where it began. 
In the fall of 2016, I watched a Netflix show called I Am Not Your Guru with Tony Robbins. Maybe you've seen it. Hopefully you've heard of Tony Robbins. But that moment watching that, I think it was like September of 2016. I was like, that's what I need. I need a life coach. I need help. I need clarity, accountability. What I'm doing isn't working. If you find yourself in that space, I want you to know you don't have to do this alone. And it's so much easier to have a mentor in your life. So I did it. It was a huge investment. It was a lot of money. But I invested in myself and I got my first life coach through Tony Robbins organization, Coach Dietz. I love Dietz. I've had him on my podcast a couple of times. So that was fall of 2016. Fast forward again. I had this intuitive nudge, this pull for years that I had ignored. And maybe you're having this too. That's why you want a different career. You want a promotion. You want to start your business because you know you're not living to your highest potential. You're not living your what you're made to do. You're going through life's motions. I get it because I've been there. So 20, 2017, this is like, yep, it hit. May of 2017, I finally followed that intuitive nudge to quit my job. I hated my job. I called it soul sucking. I was going through life's motions, living life on this hamster wheel, day in, day out, hitting the snooze button two to three times every single morning, getting out of bed, same shit, different day. Like, and I finally had enough self-love that I was like, I cannot live this way. This is not going to be my life for the next 40 years until I can retire and then live the good life. The American dream was not my dream. So guess what? I quit. I had written my resignation notice a couple months before. I was actually going to quit in March once the bonus hit, and I didn't. I didn't have the courage. I had so much fear. We have that, right? Fear of failure, fear of the unknown. But finally in May, I remember it was a Thursday afternoon. My, my boss sent me an email with another dreaded assignment, and I was like, we're done. I'm done. I can't do this. I called my friend Jay Ray, who was down the hall. And I was like, that's it. I'm doing it. I'm giving my notice. And I was like shaking. I had my resignation notice. I signed it. I'm walking down the hall, heart racing. I'm scared to death. But I, there was something pushing me, something inside of me going, now is the time you've got to do this. And I went into my boss's office. I sat in a chair and I gave my notice. And it was the biggest relief of my life. And here's what I want you to know. I finally got to experience jump and let the net appear. Take the leap. The universe has your back because guess what? The next day after I took inspired action, after I gave my notice, after I followed the nudge, I was awarded 175 grand from the company's IPO. Now I didn't know I was getting any money. I didn't expect any. I was low on the totem pole, right? But the universe has your back. I followed that intuitive nudge, and this is what I'm directing you. If you have that nudge, you are meant for more. To quit your job, to start that business, to ask for the promotion, do it. You have to take the action, and then the universe will support you. I want you to know that. So that's exactly what I did. And guess what? That money awarded me the time that I needed to go on my own eat, pray, love journey. I got to travel to, you know, my bucket list destinations. I saw the Great Wall of China. I did yoga teacher training in Bali. I got to travel all over Europe. I got to fill up my own cup. Like the freedom that you seek is already available to you when you get out of your own way, when you follow those nudges, when you start to think differently, when you think differently, you take new actions. So fast forward a little bit more. Summer of 2018, I got to live in San Diego. Living in California had been a dream of mine. And how it all came to place, I'd love to teach you about manifesting another time. But it was amazing. Like, it was amazing. I literally lived right there on the beach, on the ocean, while writing my book, teaching paddleboard yoga. I felt like a high schooler, you know, on summer break. This was my life. I am not alone. I want you to know, remember when I, I took the leap and I quit my job and I was awarded that payout? I've heard so many stories just like it. I had some my, on my podcast, in fact. She also happened to work in oil and gas up in Canada. 
She had that same intuitive nudge. She was meant for more, meant to be doing more. And she finally, it was July, I forget which year, maybe like 2018. She's like, all right, this is it. I'm, I'm quitting this Friday. Like she finally had the courage and she was going to do it. And guess what? The day before that Thursday, the day before she was going to quit, she ended up getting laid off and given six months severance. So that was way better than just her quitting, right? And getting two weeks pay. So sometimes I believe that if, you know, the universe will give you that kick, when you get laid off, when, when you get fired, trust there's something better for you. Trust that rejection is always redirection. So that's where I was. 2018, published my book, Take the Leap, where I share my journey from contentment to fulfillment. You know, I had started coaching at that time. And I want you to know that change in your life is simple, but it's not easy. Is it worth it? Absolutely. So here's what I ultimately want you to know that this life of yours is totally up to you, that you can have, be, do anything you dream of. So if you're currently dissatisfied, again, this is a total, totally free resource. Take the life assessment, figure out your pain point. Where is that struggle? Is it your financials? Is it your health? Is it your mental health? Is it your job? Is it your relationship? Where are you struggling because clarity is the first step, right? You have to become aware of where you are in order to create this future. But I just want you to know when you get out of your own way, when you level up and you start thinking and being different, when you get out of autopilot, that rinse, wash, and repeat, that's when change is possible. That's when that version 2.0 of you and and things start happening miraculously, right? This isn't just me. There are bazillions of stories like this out there, but you have to take the action. You have to get out of autopilot and ultimately you have to get out of your own way. And I want to leave you with this. I know what's possible for you. So when you get out of self-doubt, when you can let go of the imposter syndrome, who am I to do this? Who am I to live big? When you stop procrastinating, when you end the self-sabotage, you remove all those barriers that are keeping you stuck on this vicious negative feedback loop on that hamster wheel going nowhere. But it's up to you. You know, like you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. I can give you all the tools and techniques. You can listen to all the podcasts you want, read all the books. But until you implement and apply what you learn, nothing will change. You know, the saying knowledge is power. It's total BS. Applied knowledge is power. Experience is power. You can do this. And I want you to know what's possible for you. So if you enjoy these trainings, if you want the tools and the techniques on how to shift your mindset, how to change your habits, how to create that clarity in the blueprint for moving forward, I invite you to join me in Unlimited. You can join us live every single Wednesday or catch the replay. And by joining today, you get access to all the previous trainings. I thank you so much for being a part of my community. I seriously love interacting with all of you. But ultimately, it's like, I want to shake you alive. I want to shake you awake because you're living at such a small percentage of your potential and there's so much more available to you. So would now be a good time to change? Don't wait for Monday, next week, next year. Today, today is a brand new day. It's a fresh start. Every moment actually is a fresh start. All suffering, all struggling is self-imposed. And I know what's possible for you. You are better than that. So choose to change your life. Choose to become the best, highest version of you when you get out of your own way.